Welcome to Spellbound. I am your host, 32Bits. And uh, today we're taking a look at um, this mouse. <clears throat> it's the same as this mouse. Uh, and you may have remembered from an earlier video, this mouse had a problem where um, the left click button wasn't uh, working. Now, <clears throat> I just got this mouse in the mail. Um, I got it uh, from the UK. Um, and it's actually, in, looks you know, looks to be cosmetically in better shape than that mouse. There's an issue with the little trapdoor, um, not wanting to shut properly, but I'm going to work on that uh, another time. Um, I cleaned it up with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, cleaned up really nice. It's actually, um, it's hard to see, but it's actually cosmetically, like I said, a little bit better shape than the other mouse. Um, but this mouse what is similarly afflicted um, the same way the other mouse was. And the problem is this. So um, if I right click, you can see that, you know, I get the menus up here but then when if I left click it's not working so the left click button isn't working now if I push down really hard I mean I really push hard then the left click actually works but to try to get a double click out of it you really gotta pound the thing um, and you really have to push super hard and the fix for this one was to replace the left click uh, mouse button um, and the I want, I want you to hear the difference. So that's the, the replaced one and here's the, the one in the, the new mouse that I got. Um, here's the tank mouse. You can hear a definite click. That's the Yeah, and apparently this particular mouse um, has a problem with um, with um, this particular style mouse has a problem with the left click button going bad. And this is one's a little different. This model number. This is a. Oh, you can see it there. And this is the one I had previously fixed. This one's a B. This one being made in China, this one being made in, in Taiwan. But they're, they're basically the same mouse. When you open them up and look inside, it's the same um, PCB. Anyway, so I wanted to have matching mice on here. I do like my tank mouse, but that goes along with a you know, 500 So we're gonna that I have. So I'm going to um, you know, put that back with that um, and then be able to use, be able to have matching mice. Thinking of um, doing a mod on one of these, <clears throat> or both of these to color match them oh, and uh, so anyway but before that the problem I'm having is I got this mouse in uh, I got it for a pretty good deal on eBay it was pretty gross it needed to be cleaned up cleaned up really nice but mechanically right click works left click not so much you got up if I press and Anyway, it's not even working at all. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and replace the button in in here and see if we can't fix it. So let's uh, get started. Two Phillips screws on the bottom. Move the ball. these two screws out I should be able to just start from the back with the top off and you can see inside here the two micro switches here's the light mouse so it's not very loud either but it works and here's the left and I can feel that that is significantly squishier So apologies, I lost the uh, audio for the second half of the video. I muted my mic, so I'm just going to go ahead and narrate with the rest of the video. So what you see here is the, um, the replacement uh, micro switch or the left mouse button. I'm going to go ahead and um, solder that in. Uh, to do that, we're going to desolder 
the uh, old one that's on there. You'll see the new one on the table there, and I'm using the soldering, the desoldering um, gun to remove the old solder from the uh, pins on the gun. One that's already on the uh, PCB there. That gun works really good. And, um, now that I've gone ahead and done that, I should be able to just pull that off. And it pops right off. Those cleaned out traces there. So this is the new switch. Button works really nice on that. I'm just gonna slot it into the same holes that the old one was in. And I'll mount that on my um, soldering station to apply some solder. So I'm just uh, applying the solder now to those four contacts. There is one set of uh, pads that need to be needs to be jumped. Um, if you're looking at it in this view, it's the uh, bottom right, right there. You, you saw it for just a second, but it doesn't really matter. Um, just do be aware if you, you know, watch them when you're taking them, when you're taking these apart, um, when you're desoldering. Just, just make sure that, you know, obviously when you're applying new solder, you're not jumping things that shouldn't be jumped, but also um, when you're desoldering, um, you may be removing some solder that actually causes a bridge uh, that's supposed to be there. And on this uh, bottom right um, leg of that micro switch, there is actually a solder bridge that's that's supposed to be there. And I've recreated that. It's hard to see in that picture, but it's there. So now that I've got it desoldered, uh, I use some isopropyl alcohol to clean that uh, up, get all the flux off, and we're gonna put the mouse back together. The way this piece of beef is in there is that you have to kind of tilt it forward, and it's got these two little slots in the front that you're gonna slide um, the port into, and then it's got a couple of pins in the bottom of the case. The back that's where the um, screws slot through but they also act as pins to hold the uh, PCB in place. There's also one small pin up front right there that um, holds the front end and once once you've got it in the, in the slots and you slide it forward and it fits on those pins um, it actually holds it in pretty good yeah you can shake the thing around doesn't fall out. <coughs> So next we just have to uh, put the cable on, and this cable goes in, um, it's really only one way it goes in, there's these two little latches um, on the connector um, that's on the PCB, and along here there's um, a ridge that catches those two little latches. Basically it's the um, side way out that you can't see through the plastic and, to, and see the pins on the side, um, that's the side you want facing the latching latches. And then you just push it until it clicks. I'll fit the cable in there, making sure we have enough clearance for the mechanism. I had previously taken taken this off. I also cleaned these um, little rollers here. One of them wasn't spinning very well, but it's spinning really really nicely now. Clean that up along with the little uh, idler wheel there. It's got a little spring in it. It keeps uh, some tension on the ball. It keeps it from wiggling around inside the mouse. It's not a little fiddly to get it in, but once you line the wheels up with two slots that are there for them to fit into, it kind of just drops in place and sits there. Put the top of the case on. Again, you angle this forward in the front. It's got these two little tabs there. Um, and they fit into the slots at the bottom. Angle it up like that and then push it in and then snap the back in. It does, gives a little snap. 
And if you could hear that, <laughs> clicking is really a lot louder than it was before, and it just feels so much better. So I'm going to just go ahead and put these um, two screws in. I use this desoldering gun to take that um, soldering solder off to pull out the old micro switch, but um, you certainly also could use a um, a solder wick or a uh, you know a spring loaded solder sucker. I've used uh, both of those um, things before. This just happens to be a new tool that I got that I really like. I do have a little piece of tape on the end there just to keep from sliding forward the the little. Um, hatch there wants to, you know, slide forward and kind of fall out. So I just have a little piece of tape there holding it. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Me, three D print, print a new one. That feels really good. So now that's all done. Just a little clean up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, test it out. So here we are at the CD32. I can see the two mice there. Um, that's moving off of the, off the hard drive inside. It's on the SX32 uh, expansion. Work benches up. The mouse is moving around fine, so I know if anything I didn't make it worse. Right click is working great, just like it did before. And go ahead and double click. And the work, I, the work folder pops right open. I'm able to drag the um, window around. Again, it opens right up. Double click, dragging. So that, that left mouse button is working perfectly now. So now I have a uh, perfectly good working mouse. It's a pretty quick fix. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you.